What's up, everybody? How's it going? Hope you had a good week. Um, I hope my uh, video last week didn't break too many eardrums. Um, but going on from the video last week, I just want to have a quick chat about something to, to do with that, and that's stepping out of your comfort zone. Regards to fitness and weight loss, I feel is uh, detrimental to your progress if you're stuck within that comfort zone because you're by being in that comfort zone you're not getting out there and doing stuff differently than what you are now which is what you need to be doing if you want to see any form of progress um oh sorry now that may not be anything too drastic um getting out of your comfort zone may be something small as lowering your sugar intake so instead of having, you know, two sugars in your coffee, maybe drop it down to one. Yes, it's going to take a bit of a time to get used to because you are setting you're having your coffee in a certain way. But by reducing that sugar intake by one sugar per coffee a day, you're already starting to make progress. You're halving, essentially halving your sugar intake alone just by doing that one small step. And... Technically, that's getting out of your comfort zone. So it doesn't have to be something as huge as standing up in front of some, you know, 2,000 people to give a speech on something. It could be something as small as taking one spoon of sugar out of your coffee or, you know, making the serving size a little bit smaller than what it was and just, you know, eating not until you're as full as you normally would. You know, bring it back a little bit. Order to work out... How to get out of the comfort zone, we have to work out why we're in that comfort zone. Um, there are a few main, I mean, there's a lot of reasons, and it's individual basis, you know, it's different for each person. But I find there are a couple of major things that would probably be the same across the board for most people who are stuck in that comfort zone um, and who are almost trapped there and find it difficult to, to break out of that. Uh, one of those big things I find is self-confidence. A lot of people have self-confidence issues. I would say probably 90% of the people. The difference between a lot of the confident ones and a lot of the not is I find if they're like me, they fake it till they make it. People in society or people around you will react to you based on how you react, I find. So if you go out and you're not confident in yourself and you put out this sort of vibe, people will tend to pick up on it a bit, uh, especially in the way they interact with you, um, the way they, they judge you or look at you or they think about you, um, as opposed to if you were someone who was confident. You'll find more confident people are usually easily approachable. Um, people are more open with them. Um, and whatnot, you know, and you, then you get the people who are shy, you know, meek, sort of not confident in what they're doing, they'll find a lot of people are standoffish with them. And then what happens is when people find who are, who are not self-confident in themselves, uh, find these people standoffish, it kind of creates a vicious cycle because then they'll tend to think, oh, you know, maybe they don't like me or, you know, I'm not good enough to be friends with them or, or whatnot. And, and then it just kind of escalates and, and builds on from that so what we need to do is we need to build up self-confidence now that's easier said than done and it takes quite a while but one rule I, I like to say is fake it till you make it you know the people out in the public don't know who you are they don't majority of them don't know your life story they you could be anyone to them so I say whenever you go out before you go out in the middle of the day like in the beginning of the day Look in the mirror and talk to yourself and think of who you want to be. What kind of person do you do you think you want to be or you would like to be? And then act as that person throughout the day. Now that doesn't mean you don't need to be sincere. It just means if you want to be someone who's outgoing and happy and chirpy all day long, well, put that act on. Let them people think that you're that kind of person. Because then what you'll find is they'll reciprocate to you and then it will build your bit of confidence up because, you know, these people are, are being friendly to you. You know, they're accepting you a bit more than, say, if you're shy and standoffish. 
and then that'll build your confidence up or make it easier to, to put on the act. And then over time, what you will find is you'll end up being that person that you want to be. And that, and that comes down with, you know, everything. You got to learn to love yourself before you can expect people to love you. Now, because the way we're brought up um, is we've brought up to, to feel that failure is something to be scared of and something that we, we shouldn't do at all costs. And if we do, we associate it with really bad feelings. Um, and because of that, we tend to usually give up, which is far from the contrary. Failure is something that is needed as, ne as a necessity if you're willing to succeed, because through failure, you accept, you, you get growth. Um, through failure, you learn what doesn't work for you and what can work. Um, you know, look at it as like a trial and error if you really want to. But it is something that I think more people need to embrace and accept. Uh, once we accept the fact that we're going to fail, you know, probably fail on a daily. Um, and we're probably going to fail in most things that we do. And if we accept that, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's how we, it's how we turn that failure around. You know, we can look at it as we're useless, we're not good enough. Or we can turn it around and say, okay, that didn't work. What do I need to do differently to get where I need to be? Get it back on your horse and keep going. Third one I want to talk about is probably motivation. Um, motivation is a difficult one because we all struggle with it. Uh, we tend to find that the, the most times we are fueled by motivation is out of a need of necessity. So, you know, we need to get something done. You know, like homework wise you do it at the last minute because you need to. So, hey, bam, you got instant motivation. But before that, you don't want to do it. The uh, It's difficult to get around this and it's different for everyone. Um, so I can only speak for myself. Um, but I think a good way to be able to work with your motivation and build your motivation levels up is you need to step back a bit and think why you want to do it. You'll get, you'll find motivation comes easiest when you're dealing with something that you're passionate about. <clears throat> you'll find people who are advocates of something. Um, so if someone's like feels strongly or passionate about child abuse, they will stand up for that. Um, people who are passionate about their sport, they will stand up for that. So you need to find a reason why you're doing what you are doing now, but you need to find a reason that's creates enough passion within you to keep you driving me it's because i want to not so much lose weight and be thin but i want to live a life a, a better quality of life so if i want to do something then i want to be go, able to go yeah i can do that instead of going you know what i, I probably couldn't do that you know i'd probably get tired or you know I, I don't think i would be able to to fit into that or i'd be able to do this because of that or this or that I don't want to do that and I've been there and I don't want to be back to that so that's my motivation you know getting thin and and whatnot is just a bit of a bonus to that I don't care if I'm still you know fat at the end of the day but if I'm fit enough to do exactly in everything I want to do well then you know I'm gonna consider that a win and I'll be happy with that so that motivates me so what you need to do is you need to find out what motivates you whether it's you want to be there for your kids or you want to, you know, you want to look a certain way for a wedding or, you know, you're going on holiday somewhere and you want to be able to fit into certain outfits or, you know, whatever it is, you know, or if you're, you're sick of, you know, the life you're living and you want to do, you want to be a bit more out there and try new experiences, you got to find that passion. And until you find that passion, you're probably not going to get the motivation to do what you want to do. And you'll probably just be hitting brick walls left, front and center. All right, so those are the three things. Motivation, which equals passion. Um, what was the other ones? Oh, I'm having a mind blank. Self-confidence and fear. One, uh, a fear of failure or failure itself. So once you've worked out those three, then you'll be able to get out of that comfort zone and start doing things that you need to do to, in order to get where you want to in life. All right, so hopefully my ramblings have helped you out today. Um, so yeah, please like, share, subscribe, whatever it is 
that you do these days. Um, links to the GoFundMe, Twitter, uh, are all there in the descriptions below. Um, send me a message if you want to be on the list. Leave a comment on the actual GoFundMe page. Um, it's been a bit quiet there lately. Uh, so yeah, if you can, share it around. Look, um, if you think that what I'm saying is not absolute garbage, um, share it around, show it to your friends or whatnot. If you think that absolute, you know, I'm an absolute flog and I'm talking out my ass, give it a dislike, just so I know, because um, if I don't get any feedback, well then, you know, I'm just going to be, keep being a, a bit of a twat. So give feedback about it, uh, share it about, you know, try and get more people to see it. Um, this is hard enough for me to do as it is. You know, I, I get anxiety when I do this because, you know, I feel stupid doing it. Um, and that may be the case. I may be stupid for doing it, but it's something that I, I need to do to help get me out of my own comfort zone. So if I can get any feedback from it, it would be fantastic. Um, next next month, I'll probably have another weigh-in and operation, uh, visit with the hospital. So we'll do a sort of a weigh-in from there, but we'll leave it from there for now. So have a good week, guys. Like I said, share it out, whatnot. Give me a name to put on the list and uh, I'll catch you all next time, alright? Peace out.